God bless you. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our sweet Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer, our King of Peace. He is so special. He's the Word. What became flesh. He became Christ. He was Christ. Listen, dear child of God, please share this message so many times if you can't to bless other people so they get understanding so get understanding and by understanding from the word through the word by the spirit of god obedient to the spirit of god they can make also we can we can all make also by understanding by grounded in wisdom good decisions in all what we do so we can serve the lord jesus in all areas of our life with understanding what is the power and what what carry words what carry words very very profound the understanding uh, from from word and word and word spoken and word spoken share subscribe please my channel to bless others and and word spoken and word spoken this is a very special word what i can share with you from the lord to bless you that your life will never be the same Libra Zakadoso. Very, very special words. And pray the Lord that He make grace available for us that we can receive and that the Spirit can flow like a river and that we life are changed by listening by the word and that we that the Lord can minister each of each other personal by this word so we get blessed and we get transformed if we get our in our prayer closet and we meet God we meet the spirit from God in prayer that we are transformed with an open face and uh, we meet him from glory to glory listen your emotions your words with, written in a book of God written in a book of God that is what the Bible teach us very very the Bible teach us in Psalms 5 65 verse 8 thou tellest my wanderers put thou my tears into a battle and are they are not in a book dear child of God is this amazing is this amazing your tears from the past are written in a book and the words spoken from your youth are not both of all but there are sp spoken words and a spoken word listen this this is this a word from the past can work something out and shape your this day to shape your future it shapes your emotions it shapes your thoughts and i speak not typical about the word of god now but in all kinds of words the word is a carrier from livra listen 
this is profound our listen a word spoken the words spoken to your parents or your uncle listen the there, there are words in a life we have to get rid of, and there are words we are have to nourish. We have to, we have to put them in the heart, and we ask for God to fulfill them. Listen, the the words speak and spoken in your youth are carriers from maybe pain, and it shapes your day, even today. It shapes you, at uh, at let you at 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 the 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 the, the give you boundaries to two and there are words spoken with emotion from to hurt you and the, the emotion f by this word if you ask this I, I hope so you can understand the word spoken carries and empowered by the word from pain carry in your heart to to this day I pray for you that the Lord will give you understanding so the Lord reveal a word to you what is spoke, spoken to you in your youth and so that the Lord I pray for you that the Lord will um, remove it from your heart and there is this word listen is no more longer in your script of life is no more longer um, shaping your thoughts and your emotions I share please share this message so many times that other can bless listen but this is very profound too and it's from God I can only speak what the Lord gave me by the Spirit and what he has worked out and I know it's true I know I know I know it's not only written it is not only the true it is converting to substance as in true in my life. Okay. Livra Dikabah Zakadusu. Listen, then the Bible tells us. I hope you can understand me and this let me this to who has thou utter words and whose spirit came from they? Listen, there are spirits in our youth speaking through uh, maybe a family member or a child on by school and they speak words to you and they travel with you all the days of your life or for your parents and these words are limitations in your life. And again, please, um, that the Lord will give you grace to understand. And the words also always come empowered by spirits listen um, a prophetic word um, in your life by maybe prayed hey, Jesus we see that Jesus were kind of, uh, uh, the Joseph um, Maria get going to the temple and um, there were the, the, the came and um, and libera um, zakato so I it's look it's look too listen and uh, job t twenty six four uh, words come from spirits from God or for evil spirits we are live in one kingdom not in, in not in both we live in the kingdom of God or the kingdom from this world from the devil. And maybe are I'm very um, short, but that is what the Bible teaches us. We serve or one or two, one of the two kingdoms. And I got got to go to. Liana Manzarika Dotson. Liviano Zapatoso and a prophetic word from God is connected not only with you but but also always with other children of God
and it's amazing um, um, what the Bible teaches us. Listen, all oh, this nice, this very nice. Liban Kapuko Friandabai. Yes, a, a teach about in Luke 2 from that Jesus, uh, his parents, uh, from 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 uh, first 22, um, that Jesus, um, his parents with Jesus uh, going to the temple, uh, it was, it was um, a law. And they brought him into Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Very key for all the parents they have uh, received by birth and child that you bring uh, to the law to the Lord. As it's written in the law from the Lord, every male that opened the womb shall be called the holy, be called holy to the Lord. And um, listen, and I say every prophetic word is connected in your life with other people and behold there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simon and there was the same was us and the same man was just and devout waiting for the constraints of Israel and the Holy Ghost was open and it was revealed unto him that uh, by the Holy Ghost that he should not see the dead before he had seen the Lord's Christ listen there are people uh, if you are called by God there are people connected by your destiny and they wait on you uh, and the circular time and position in life to meet you and now we see this the by uh, Jesus was in a baby and there um, let me read on and he came by the spirit into the temple and when the prayers brought him in in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of law they took him up in the arms and blessing God and say Lord, and it touched me now, Lord, now let this thou by servant depart in peace according the word, to thy word, and mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light, a light to the lighten, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of the people of Israel. There are many called before him, and we all a light, and Job and his mother marveled at the things we spoke after him and Simon blessed her, them and and say unto to Mary its mother behold this child is set for fall and rise against of many in Israel and for all signs we it shall, shall be spoke against yea and sword shall pierce thou by all your own soul also that, that speaks about the pain of Maria I'm now by 35 it's very painful for this mother if you are called uh, men and women you you have to know that your parents uh, have to suffer about your calling that thoughts of many hearts may be revealed that the thoughts of many hearts were been may be revealed and there was uh, all was one Anna and prophetess the daughter of Penuel of the tribe of Asa she was of a great age and has lived with with her husband seven years from her furniture and she was a widow of about four score and four years which departed not from the temple but served the God with fasting and praying night and day and she came into the instant caves the things like unto the Lord and speak of him too of him the looking for redemption of Jerusalem and when she had performed all things according to the law of the Lord they returned to it. yes yes it's amazing that um, there are words speaking by in your youth you have to know uh, that you get rid of and there are words prophetic words are are, are dreams listen there can be dreams if there, there's always a word if you are birthed within a Christian home and you go to the church there are always words spoken 
breath and destiny in your life you have to understand this it's very important to know understand these words are carrying you with you with the spirit of god and um for example is Ali Clamando and I read um, it's uh it's 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 talking about in Jeremiah one and it's um in verse eleven Moreover the word of the Lord came unto me saying Jeremiah what see thou and I say I see a rod of an almond tree the the then then say the Lord unto me thou hast well seen for I will hasten my word to perform it. The Lord will travel with you in your journey in earth. All the written uh, in Psalm yes, 5, uh, 6, 5, 8 speaks about everything is written down for your script to complete. And all the things what needed is are written in the script in heaven. You have to in prayer and by reading the Lord encounter the scripts to receive this word, the prophetic word. And this word uh, you can understand by uh, let me read it for you is um there was Jeremiah 11 and 12 is a very beautiful uh, and i share it with you it's and this uh the people the if you you have to know you have to look to it and don't um we have also a more sure word of prophecy where unto you do well that you take heed you take heed of this word from your youth or maybe in your teenage years as an unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day until the day dull and they and the day star arise in your heart it means if you keep attention about the word the prophetic word it will rise in you and it will rise and if if you're called with a big calling then it's rise very big it's is listen again the word of god comes with light and you can know it what is rising in your heart what is the big word what is the big thoughts and feelings around this word of this prophetic word the lord will give this very much light you can only understand this in the holy spirit and in reading and praying and singing knowing this that no prophecy of scripture is for any private interpretation it cannot be for yourself for for your own good for your own it is by God is calling for the prophecy came not in the old time by the will of man but the holy men of speak of God speak that they removed by moved by the Holy Spirit there's a movement always by the word okay I round this up yeah I speak about two words a prophetic word and a word from your destiny that you have to get rid of get rid of and please share this very special message to bless you to keep you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ